Good morning and welcome to Aberystwyth. I'm down here for a couple of days. I didn't really come here for photography. I came here for my son's 21st birthday. So everyone say happy birthday to uh, Aaron in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we're just at the beginning of Storm Kieran. And as you can see, the waves really are quite powerful. Um, we're not at high tide yet. We're about an hour or so away from, from high tide. But what I'm hoping to capture this morning is some waves crashing over the lighthouse in the distance over there. So yeah, let's go and see what we can find. Um, I'm going to take my first image here, more of a wide shot, incorporating this coastline here as a bit of a lead in sweeping round to the, uh, the cliff face in the background there and the lighthouse. Might go for a 16 by nine because there's a lot of sort of dead space at the, um, the beach here. So yeah, I'm going to put that one on screen. I don't know if it really works out very well, but it's just one to get in the bag. And then I'm going to probably put the longer lens on and just single out the, uh, the lighthouse there in the background and hopefully you get some waves just crashing over. But the sun's uh, rising behind me as well. We should hopefully get a lot, nice bit of side light on those waves, just lighting the, the, the waves up quite a bit. Opting for quite sort of fast shutter speeds, around 1 800th of a second to 1 1,000th of a second, just to try and freeze that walk, that motion. So, yeah. Let's see what else we can find. So the observant among you will notice I haven't bought a tripod with me, and that's for one very good reason. Um, predicted to be very, very windy, so I just thought, well, what's the point? I'm, shoot I'm aiming for shooting at high shutter speeds anyway, so I'm just going to literally point the camera over that direction, frame up some different compositions, and just see what I can get uh, shooting handheld. So this first shot, shooting at around 35 mil, and as I mentioned a moment ago, just using the, uh, the lead-in of the, uh, the coastline here is those crashing waves in the background, which then hopefully lead the eye round over that sort of crest of that sort of uh, cliff face there in the background onto the, the lighthouse there. So I'm just going to frame that up now and take the shot. Just waiting for the right amount of waves to come through. And what I'll probably end up doing as well, taking multiple shots, seeing which ones I like best, where the, where the waves are sort of placed and kind of blend them together. So where you've got the waves crashing at the immediate sort of coastline here and the waves crashing at the, uh, the wall sea defence there and hopefully some over the lighthouse as well. You can try and blend, blend those three together, it should make a more compelling image. And the reason I've come down to the beach to shoot this and shoot most of my shots this morning is because the sort of outlet there that leads to the lighthouse, uh, when you're up on the sort of the, the sea wall there, um, it's actually lining up perfectly with the horizon which looks a bit uncomfortable to me. So. By coming down a little bit lower here, I'm just able to get the sea wall there just above the horizon ever so slightly, which just look ever so slightly better. I'm also being very, very mindful that sea, that sea is coming in at a rate of knots. So if you see me dart off that way all of a sudden, you know why. I have already got a wet foot. One of the issues that I'm facing, I think, and, and maybe I need to think about coming back here a little bit later on today, is because the sea is really quite far in now, I'm not getting the waves hitting the side of the lighthouse as much as I would like. Um, so yeah, I might have to come back later and get that shot. But I'll stick around here for a bit now and see what happens. Okay, so I'm finding that the wider shot incorporating the coastline here isn't really working because the lighthouse there is, is becoming really insignificant in the scene and I, I want to make some sort of use of that. So I've put the super telephoto lens on, still using no tripod, and uh, shooting at ISO 2000 at 1,600 uh, 1, of a second f8, just to really try and freeze that motion. I've gone for a higher shutter speed because I'm at about 300 mil, uh, so I don't want any shakiness at all. Um, First opted for a portrait image, incorporating the coastline just a little bit where the sea is cresting over onto the, onto the beach uh, and letting that blur out, no issues at all. But then in the background, obviously, the, the lighthouse is pin sharp and every now and then you get some waves sort of crashing through in front of it. Unfortunately, we're not getting any crashing behind it, which I'd absolutely love. If I had a big wave that came and crashed behind 
the lighthouse there, I think it looked quite spectacular. But um, yeah, this was certainly good. Here's a shot. So I don't get the opportunity to do much in the way of seascape photography. So excuse me if these photos are absolutely trash. Um, living in the middle of the UK, it's at least two and a half hours to the nearest beach. So yeah, I'm learning as I go here. But what I'm finding is I'm just having to wait really, you know, quite patiently um, to just with the camera ready in hand, pointing towards the lighthouse there, just waiting for the right perfect wave to come through. There's no real, doesn't, well, there doesn't seem to be in a real pattern to it. So it's just a case of having the camera ready, pointing in that direction, and just waiting for that right wave to come through. But yeah, it was a beautiful morning. It's not as windy as I thought it would be. Probably should have bought a tripod, but hey ho. What I might do shortly is take a walk just over there to the RNLI building, because the waves are just crashing up over the sea, sea defences there. Um, so I might be able to use some of kind of leading line of maybe the fences or something else. We'll have to see. Um, and I might even take a walk actually towards the main part of Aberystwyth in, in a short while and see how the waves are crashing up against the, uh, the sea defences there. It doesn't have to just be about the lighthouse. So you would have heard nothing of what I've just been saying for the past five to ten minutes because I had the wrong mic plugged in. Um, but as you probably just saw, I almost got absolutely drenched by the sea. Um, I think I've chanced my luck down here enough now that's coming in quite, uh, quite some force and those waves are getting a lot, lot bigger. So I'm going to get off here now and head down that way a little bit towards the, the lighthouse itself and along the sidewalk and try and make some use of the, uh, the fences here, maybe use some kind of foreground interest there. Um, what you also wouldn't have heard a moment ago is I was taking another shot a little bit further down towards the sea when I almost got wet. Uh, basically, the same shot I was taking for portrait image, incorporating these waves that are coming in at sort of the base of the frame and the lighthouse there pretty much on the top third. Um, by going a little bit lower towards the sea, I was able to just minimize that distance between the edge of the coastline and the lighthouse because there was quite a bit of dead space there before. Again, what I'm going to do is I'll take various different images that I've, I've taken this morning and blend those together in Photoshop depending on which ones I like the most. So, I'm going to get off here now before I get absolutely drenched. But having said that, I think I'm going to get drenched anyway because we've got a big dirty cloud coming in with what looks like a lot of rain. Okay, so I've just framed up an image here, but I'm not entirely sure it works. It feels like a bit more of a touristy shot. Um, however, I've taken it anyway, and it's incorporating this groin here. And every now and then the waves, as you can just see there, come crashing over it. And uh, I'm placing that pretty much on the bottom left-hand third. And then you've got kind of the wall leading through, hopefully leading the viewer's eye through to the lighthouse in the background there. Uh, again, I'm shooting in burst mode. What I'll do is I'll, I'll take various different photos as I mentioned back there um, and blend those together in Photoshop depending on which waves look best in the photo. Um, there is one issue with this photo which is kind of the sea here, this really quite dark sand um, is really on the sort of the bottom left hand third of the image and I feel like it's drawing the eye a bit too much there so it feels a bit unweighted but I'll have to see in post because I might be able to darken some of those clouds down because they are quite foreboding. But yeah the waves really have picked up, it's absolutely brutal but beautiful. Right, you'll have to excuse the angle, but it's get, the wind is really picking up quite a lot now. So I put the tripod quite low to the ground and spread the legs quite a bit just to make sure I get some stability. Right, so I put the super telephoto lens on. I'm at 100 mil. Every now and then, massive wave, several meters high it must be, um, crests up right in front of the lighthouse. Um, but by putting the super telephoto lens on, I'm able to cut out sort of the, the seawall here which I think was actually acting as a bit of a distraction rather than a leading line, to be honest with you. Uh, so it's just about the waves, the groin, 
and the lighthouse. I think it works out quite nice. I just want to get those waves crashing over the lighthouse. I just don't think we're going to get it just yet. I think we probably do need to wait for this water to go out a little bit. So I might have to come back and do that a little bit later on if I get time. All right, so I've taken loads of shots of that. As I say, blend them together in Photoshop and see which works out best. Do I dare walk down a bit further? See if we can try and get something down there. I think I should. Let's play it safe. Right, so I think I might have taken my favourite image in the morning. You can probably just make out this bench just here. I'm placing that pretty much on the bottom right hand third and the lighthouse pretty much on the top left hand third. So I'm just going to move out the way because there's a car coming. Um, yeah, I really quite like it. Every now and then a wave just comes crashing over the bench and it makes a lovely minimalist scene. So it's been taking loads and loads of burst shots. I've already burnt through an SD card this morning. Uh, just taking loads and loads of shots trying, trying to get the best one that I could possibly get. So. One thing I have struggled with, because I'm shooting at 100 mil to get that shot, just to make sure that the uh, the lighthouse is, is quite, you know, a good dominant part of the scene. Um, so I'm actually shooting at f22. I don't know if everything's in focus. It's quite hard to tell in the back of the camera, but I think it's sharp enough. Um, and it's, it's a really compelling image, and I think it tells a bit of a story. Uh, so I'm going to pop this one on screen now, and we are starting to see some more waves come over the lighthouse. I'm going to try and grab that last shot this morning, but I think I'm probably pretty much done. So. I'll put this one on screen now, and if I do manage to get that shot over there, I'll talk you through it. So the waves aren't quite doing what I want them to do, unfortunately, uh, which is I want them to breach the lighthouse there. Uh, but never mind. Um, I'm here for a couple of days, so I might come back here a little bit later on this evening or tomorrow morning, because this storm is sticking around for a couple of days, and hopefully I can get that shot that I really want. Uh, so yeah, if that works out, we'll cut to the video later on today or tomorrow and carry on from there. Right then, it's the evening. We're getting towards sunset and uh yeah thought we'd uh, change things up a little bit instead of uh shooting down there where we shot earlier i'm gonna head up towards this little castle here and there's some park benches there which i think will give me a nice elevated view looking out towards the lighthouse the sea um low tide is about half past four and uh yeah with that it does seem that the waves are not crashing up against the the lighthouse there as much as they were earlier so yeah i'm not sure how this is going to work out and also the sun is being snuffed out at the moment by a big bank of cloud over there but we've got about an hour so let's see if that changes at all and hopefully we get some nice golden light shining in there lighting up the waves and lighting up the lighthouse may not work but we'll give it a go okay so i made it into the castle and the reason i'm here is because we came for a bit of a walk around earlier. I've noticed that by being at this sort of elevation, you get a nice separation of the, the sort of pier leading out to the, uh, the lighthouse there. So you get in the sea on both, both sides, obviously this side and the other side, which gives it a nice sense of place within the scene, I feel. So we're gonna have to see what happens with the weather. As I say, at the moment, there's a big bank of cloud out there and an awful lot of rain by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that clears out a bit the sun just drops low enough to just sort of light up the, the waves and light up the uh, the lighthouse there i'll we'll have to see what happens again i haven't bought my tripod out with me it's, it's incredibly windy so i'm just going to try and handheld this and see what what works so it's just going to stick around here for a bit and really see what happens I think we might end up being quite lucky. I'm not sure if you can work it out, but in the clouds over there, there's some lovely sun rays coming through. If I just darken that down slightly, you can probably just make it out. Uh, if the sun just dips below where I hope it will, it should light up here. And what we have got with these waves, because they are still quite ferocious, 
a lovely bit of sea spray, which I think, I'm hoping, if the sun does come through, should light it up a beautiful golden colour. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So I'm shooting at about 150 mil, and I'm placing the uh, lighthouse pretty much on the left-hand third, and there's a spit of land beyond cliff face um, that I'm pretty much facing on the right-hand third. Just balances in the scene out just quite nicely. Just uh, waiting for the light now, really. Also, I just want to apologise. If you can't hear me, the wind is absolutely brutal. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. It's about 20 minutes till sunset. And where I hoped the light would come through, I think there must be another bank of cloud or something, because I would have expected to see more light by now. But uh, we'll stick it out anyway, because you never know. May have spoken too soon. It looks like he's trying to break through. See if this kicks off. So I'm shooting at ISO 1600, one 1,000th of a second at f6.3. Should just be enough to freeze the motion of the water and also compensate for obviously the focal length that I'm at. So I have to wait a few minutes to just see what happens with this light. Also very conscious of water droplets on the lens. Looks like I might be about to get very, very wet. There's a massive bank of rain coming in. I don't know how far away it is, but uh, I don't think it'll be too long before it gets here. Um, and just on that note, the sun that I just hoped was going to come through does seem to be covered again as a massive bank of cloud. Um, do I stick it out? Yeah, I think I should. If I get a bit wet, it is what it is. I'm only back at the uh, accommodation, which is just over there. So, yeah, you never know. There might be the smallest break of light through. And if I go down there and miss it, I'll regret it. So you just got to stick it out, unfortunately. That's it, it's all over. Fortunately, the light did not do what we wanted it to do, but that's just the way it is sometimes. So I think I'm going to call it. Still, I've had a fantastic day trying to capture the mood and the drama of these waves with this lighthouse from sunrise till sunset today. Um, I did capture another image about midday earlier where the waves were just crashing right over the lighthouse. So I'll put that on screen now. I did just take an image ago with a touch of golden side light on the lighthouse, but I don't think it's going to be any, any good, unfortunately. Still, really enjoyed this. I hope you have too. If you have, please consider hitting the like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, it would really help if you subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, please put them below. I love reading and responding to them. Anyway, just want to say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.